doing well and having an awesome Thursday. So I have full disclosure, I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys saying what happened to your Thursday videos. And um, so here's the thing. Over the last little while, I've been feeling super like, I just wanted to write. Like I, the thought of like getting on camera, every, every single time I put my camera on, I was just like, D -d 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 -d. like I would just stutter and just look like a fool. And then I'm like, okay. That's cool. I, it's just not the time to do videos right now. And so I just stopped doing them <laughs> and just started putting out a bunch of written content. So um, hashtag sorry, not sorry, maybe. Um, but they're back. I actually feel super inspired to uh, get back onto doing the whole video game. So um, really, really, really excited. So I just got off stage here in Vegas um, at the gambling addiction conference. Super ironic, I know, gambling addiction in Vegas. It was funny, there's like this conference going on and then across the room there's like a bunch of people on like slot machines smoking cigarettes. It was the craziest contrast ever. Um, but something came up in the society this week in our group coaching program and today on stage. And it's this whole concept of identifying with your emotions. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of the time we can feel an emotion, a sensation in our bodies, may it be anxiety or whatever, and we can say, I am that thing. I am anxious. I am sad. I am whatever it is. And it's super important to understand that that does not define you. You're not defined by that sensation going on in your body. That is just something you are experiencing. So rather than saying, I am blank, shift it to, I am experiencing blank and take your, put yourself in more of the observing role, like really observing what's going on in your body rather than identifying with it. Because here's, here's what happens. When we identify with it and we say, I am this thing, What's our mind going to do? Our mind's going to find all the reasons in the world as to why that is true and why that's an accurate statement. So for me, when I was younger, my whole thing was I am, I'm anxious. I, I'm experiencing, or I have anxiety. And so my mind would like find reasons as to why that was true constantly. And when I would, would feel anxiety, my mind would say, oh, this is just because you're an anxious person. Whereas now, if I ever feel that sensation of anxiety, I get to stop and think and go, oh, okay. This is not who I am. This is not define me. This is just something I'm experiencing right now. And when we can do that, when we can be present and experience the emotion without labeling it, without identifying with it, without thinking that's who we are, we can then feel through the entire emotion and then shift it rather than suppressing it or identifying with it so much. So whatever you're experiencing right now, as you're watching this video, just take a second and rather than saying, I am this thing, I am sad, just say, oh, this is simply just a sensation I'm experiencing. Because we need to realize at the core, we're all just beings of light and love. That's all we are. And we're, we're just these vessels and we just carry emotions. That's what we're doing all day long. And so when we can take space from it and understand it's something that we're experiencing and it's not who we are, we can look at it more objectively. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, we will be back. We me and my invisible friend, I <laughs> will be back doing these videos every single Thursday. So whatever you want me to do a video on, just shoot me a message on whatever platform you're watching this on and I will get that cooking for you. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll speak to you soon.